Having a good conversation is often underrated. People around me often quote things like, I hate small talk, but they make it sound like they are being real and so mature by not wanting trivial questions. But honestly, I don't get it. What is deep talk? What is small talk? I was greatly offended when my boyfriend in high school screamed, That is a good question! When a girl asked him, Do you think we are ruining the concept of soulmates if we change partners all the time? "Mm, What? She asked a good question because your well-arranged answer will make you feel like you're Seneca or a wise man Greek style something, right? <laughs> You're so full of crap, man. Mm. Why can't you say that when I simply ask you, what's your favorite food? What did you want to be when you're smaller? Bad question. Not good. Why? Too trivial for you? Okay, just don't blame me when you hate your dinner because I never knew your favorite food. Hey, if you are observant, nothing is trivial. Okay, I was blabbering myself there. Um, the point is, <laughs> I missed having a good conversation. But you see, there is no meaning in small or deep talk. You can't go too deep with someone you just met, they'll call you a freak, and you can say goodbye to a second date. Meanwhile, to a person important to you, a good friend, a lover, a partner in crime, small talk is deep. Small talk can be your bridge to knowing how much you two care for each other. To the point, talking about toilet paper could be so intimate. Like, how's your day? Tell me yours, and I'll tell you how weird mine was. You want milk in your coffee, babe? I would highly recommend it. You drank too much black coffee ever since you started on that project. Oh, did you see a cute dog in that park? I wanted a Shiba Inu really bad. Who annoyed you today? That dude again? Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, we'll need more coffee. But so what? Come on, drop it. But here I am. Feeling like a total antagonist. Having to say, can you please listen to me? Please, baby. You get so angry when I asked, are you even listening to me? You said I made you look bad. Like you're a terrible person. I am right in front of you. But the only thing that greeted me with such eagerness is silence. Sooner or later, my deep talk and toilet papers became peculiar to you. And my joke about a monkey meme with a refusing evolution writing became unrelatable to you. Because you don't really know Darwin, always thought I'm weird, and somehow it was my fault that you couldn't get me. And one day, I just stopped. I will greet the silence with my silence. Let silence do the talking. The time you spend on the phone reveals in crystal clear the level of conversation you are willing to have with me, who is sitting across you. I joked, the screen must be so amazing. I wonder why you haven't married that thing. (laughs) You'll be a great couple, inseparable. Rumi and Juliet would look stupid. What? You asked me to repeat what I said. You asked me to repeat, not because you didn't get the joke, but you didn't hear it. You were late looking into my eyes for two seconds. It was basically glued on the screen. 
but that two seconds gave me a thought. Nah, I don't repeat jokes. Repeating jokes makes you become a joke. Lastly, you wouldn't get it. I smiled. Nah, never mind, I was just blabbering. The cold eyes returned to the screen, humming. I never understand you. Oh, you were talking to me while looking at the screen. You are so messed up. I replied, I don't expect you to understand. Why do you think I stopped talking to you? Huh? What was that? You asked again. Nothing. 